All right. So we want to talk a little bit about the Fed. Some impromptu recording right here. I just saw this article. I figured it made sense to kind of read over it and go through uh, some key points out of it. So, uh, you know, this is a Bloomberg article. You know, Powell looks for more good inflation data, which basically means that, yeah, he wants to see that prices are coming down after he's already flooded the market with trillions of dollars over the last couple of years, right? So that's what we're suffering from right now, right? Remember, folks, inflation is not the cost of goods and services going up. Inflation, by definition, is the money supply and available credit increasing. And thus, you have more money chasing fewer goods. And as a result, prices go up. Remember, that's that's coming from the Fed themselves, St. Louis Fed. All right, so look at this article right here. So it says U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said he needs more good data to strengthen the case that inflation is moving towards the central bank's 2% target. Now, if anybody really believes that we are going to go back to a 2% target, you're dreaming. That's just not going to happen. That's not even realistic. All of these other places around the world, all these other central banks, they've already started their cutting. But getting back to a 2%, many, many bond fund, uh, hedge fund traders don't believe it's going to go back to 2%. Many economists that look at the real numbers don't believe it's going to go back to 2%. Nobody really believes that it's going to go back to 2%. That's why you've had the government spoofing the numbers to try and bring things back to uh, a point where it looks like the Fed is in control of things, but they're really not. The market forces are really giving them a difficult time right now. I just don't think 2% is realistic to go after anymore. Probably 3% is probably the, the new normal. But anyway, recent readings may point to modest further progress on prices, he said, but apparently Powell wants more. Speaking to Senate lawmakers Tuesday, he was careful not to offer a timeline for interest rate cuts, which investors are now betting will begin in September. So a lot of people have been calling for September to be the first installment uh, of rate uh, rate cuts. And we shall see. You know, there's there's money being put in on the market betting for that and against that. But uh, the consensus, the growing consensus, I should say, is that September is the likelihood of when we'll see interest uh, rates go down due to inflation numbers showing that um, there's less uh, inflation going throughout the economy. Um, but he emphasizes mounting signs of a cooling job market after government data published July 5th showed a third straight month of rising unemployment. See, and that's the problem, right? They're trying to balance this thing with unemployment, which the employment numbers have been cooked. The the uh, the job numbers all throughout 2023, a Bloomberg economist came out and and that thing went viral within the financial community about the uh, the job numbers being overstated by to the tune of over 700 thousand jobs created. All right. So one of the things you got to remember when they're messing around with these numbers you got to understand that when they count these jobs, if you go out and get a job and then you go and get a part-time job, they're going to count that as another job created, which, yes, it's another job, but it's by the same person, right? And the whole ideal of the jobs numbers is to get an idea of how many people are working. But now you have so many people now having second jobs. You know, you have the gig economy, which that doesn't even really get counted as a job. So you got people doing that. You got people doing a little bit of all three, right? They, they may have a, a main job, uh, a gig job that maybe pays them a couple hundred dollars, you know, out of the month. And they might have a full, you know, full on part time job on top of that. So it's really not a good indication when you look at. Um, using those job, the general numbers that the government is using to produce through the Bureau of Labor Statistics, those jobs are, are not really showing what's going on in the economy. But I digress. All right. So it says, but he emphasized mounting signs of a cooling job market after government data published July 5th showed a third straight, uh, month of rising unemployment. 
Elevated inflation is not the only risk we face. Excuse me. He said on the first two days of testimony, read now, pay attention to this. This right here shows you really what they're thinking. Reducing in quotes, reducing policy restraint too late or too little could unduly weaken economic activity and employment. So he's saying reducing policy restraint too late. Basically, if they, you know, they don't do it in September, maybe, and they go to the next, uh, the next time period, I think is, was, won't be till January, um, January, February. And then, excuse me, you got, he's saying that you might do it too little. So basically he's giving himself room to say, okay, we might not go down a quarter point. We might go down 50 basis points or half a percent, right? It would be pretty unprecedented if they went three quarters of a percent or, you know, 75 basis points. That would be pretty unprecedented in terms of dropping like that out of, you know, the inflation for the inflation numbers that we've had recently. But I digress. He's opening up now the can to say that, yeah, we, we could reduce rates faster than a quarter point because we've waited long enough to where we feel we've been, built up enough momentum in the economy to where we can go a quarter point without sparking new inflation, but at the same time, keeping that growth positive and not and not causing the inflation to rise, which would start to, again, cut back on the costs or the spending of the consumer. So the Fed's in a in a real quandary right now. So y'all chime in in the comments. Tell me what you think about where the Fed's going to move this September.